at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They've been in a great group. Winners of seven of their last ten on the year. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Time Pro Bowler in his time with Arizona. And normally in this spot, we talk about passing numbers from last week, but this time, it's all about the rushing. Three times he found the end zone in his last ball game. He is a do-everything quarterback, and you have to expect... Ooh. They'll start with the option. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game, as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a partner because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. I think the best offenses love to get the ball. Four with Connor. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. They're able to convert with a gain of four. The Cardinals at 11 and 3 on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so the matter. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. They're able to convert with a gain of four. The Cardinals at 11 and 3 on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they've done that play. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Murray now. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. The first drive here, and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. And they run the option here on first and 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. Sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Ooh. Murray now to throw. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. All season, leading the Bucs offense out once again. And last week, Roth came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers. Brady going to throw. Buccaneer touchdown. Julio Jones. Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No. They're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, throw left side complete. That's Williams. Two yards on the pickup there. 
sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. Ooh, what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it's oh, so what? from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Again, Murray will keep it. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Here's Murray. Over the middle complete. It's Anderson. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The first carry now. This is Williams. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 26. Steady game. From the 27, Murray. This one swung out to Williams. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 of the 15. The line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. That's caught right side by Anderson. And the Cardinals are going to be looking at first goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven of the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. A couple there, and it'll be second down. Now Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Cardinals are going to take possession of the football. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense is something you're going to need to rely on. First and 10 at the 11. After the turnover, here's Murray. Throw left side, hauled in by McBride. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five. There wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Murray going to throw. Caught on the slant. Touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown from six yards away. And the Cardinals have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning him with a catch? He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. He mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset him a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. Drop him for a loss of a couple. Ooh. At the 23, it's second and 12. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. That's Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. <laughs> Throwing now is Murray. And he checks this one down to Williams. And they will only muster a young... Because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
multiple players multiple players getting home there and it's a loss of two on the sack and this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half but this time they're able to hem him in and it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket in this case you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free you got someone to tackle him but things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. <laughs> On second down, Connor looking for space. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Third and nine situation. Here's Murray. It's complete to Hopkins. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely, maybe by a half. They're going for it with the option right. And this is going to be nowhere close. The defensive back out there now on third down. Here's Brady. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. He's really going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. He's done throughout this season, and that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? And he's going to have a Cardinals first down, I do believe. He did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Taking advantage of it. Murray now on first down. Quick slant to Brown. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now here's first and 10. Now Murray again. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And the Buccaneers are going to take over. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty Crystal flag foul. in the backfield. Oh, this looks like a roughing call. Bring it up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. Two quarters definitely got to work on my touchdown calls, so we'll see how much voice I have left for the second half here. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And this will not be down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And he'll just get rid of it. They don't get to hook. Do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. Mention the game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Here's Connor on the read option. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. The first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Murray now to throw. 
This one swung out to Williams. And he's taken down. It's a game. We talked about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. This is caught. It's Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark it down at the 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep. Sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Murray now. On the slant, DeAndre Hopkins. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy. And that... That's complete. Now the ball comes loose. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. He's got room at the 30. 20! And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the... They can, but this is third and goal. Now Brady. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other. An option handoff given to Connor. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 40 yards rushing for him down. He's carried the ball just five times. He's one relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his... To throw is Murray. Got his man complete. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Second down and five. Brady going to throw. This is caught. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Chris Godwin. As he's taken down right at the 20. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X. Second and 10, Murray. This will be caught by Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Couple of Oklahoma teammates there. Murray to Brown for a Cardinal first. On first and 10 is Connor. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. They run. It's Williams. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. You're aggressive as a head coach. You kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that thing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. From the gun, Murray. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Eluding the pressure right. 
And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Cards are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter. Now Brady. And Brady. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so he's not off for him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't it? Boy, he is. I don't know if that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. From here on, any score could be... So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Murray going to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Reception in the end zone. They blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. The Cardinals on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for 10 so far. This is third and four. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. Touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins from 13 yards out. And the Cardinals have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Did you see them hold up for unfortunately for him? The coverage downfield, equally good. Now Brady got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bucs try it on fourth. Their drive started. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from the yield down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs. Keep the sticks. I needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, and here's Murray. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from him. Down to about the 45. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive game. You'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Murray to throw. Quick slant to Brown. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them looking good as they come up first and ten. They run behind center with Connor. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20. And down. But that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense scored some points. Defense held them. And lo 